I love a good all-inclusive holiday, and today's video is going to cover the top must-pack items to take your resort experience to the next level while also avoiding any potential mishaps. The first thing to pack is actually going to double as a travel hack. I love this tip. You'll want to bring a beach bag to carry with you around the resort since it can be used to take all of your essentials to and from the pool or beach. Choosing a beach bag that can also double as your personal item for the airplane is going to make it easier to keep your important items with you for the flight without having to pack an extra bag. Instead of taking a backpack with me onto the plane as my personal item, I will always make sure that I'm using my beach bag as my personal item if I do intend to head to an all-inclusive resort. This next one is my number one lesser known tip on what to pack for an all-inclusive resort. I will always make sure that I have an insulated thermos or a tumbler with me. All-inclusive resorts often offer unlimited drinks, but it can be difficult to keep them cold. The drinks are often served in these tiny plastic cups that require constant refills, which is annoying for you and quite horrible for the environment. Bringing an insulated cup or tumbler can keep your drinks cold while also saving you from constantly needing to go back to the bar and get a refill. I'll always pack a hot cold thermos like this one since I like the versatility of being able to have a hot coffee in the morning and then an icy cold drink in the afternoon all in one cup. And this next must-have item is a little bit controversial. I will always pack with me a reusable glass container. As the name implies, all-inclusives are generally going to provide you with unlimited food. But then what if you wanted a snack at the beach, or perhaps you were going away on a day trip? This is where the container comes in. You may also find yourself wanting to escape the buffet environment. Honestly, sometimes I just want to sit alone on my balcony and enjoy a slow breakfast and will do so by grabbing some food in a container to go and then filling my tumbler with coffee and heading back to the room. There are many resorts that do not allow food outside of dining areas, while other resorts have no problem with bringing you things like room service. So use this tip with caution and be respectful of the rules at the resort that you have chosen. And then a collared shirt or an evening dress is another essential for the days that you do decide to not eat out of a container. Many all-inclusive resorts have dress codes for their restaurants, which may require slightly more formal attire, such as a collared shirt or an evening dress. Packing appropriate attire ensures that you'll be able to enjoy all of the amenities that the resort has to offer. In addition to having resort casual clothing, you may also want to take note to see if there are any other rules that you would need to follow in order to dine at certain restaurants or even to use the general buffet. For example, when I was in Egypt, you had to have your shoulders covered as well as up to your knees covered in order to even enter the general lunch or breakfast buffet. I'd recommend always packing a shawl or a pashmina of some sort that you could throw over your shoulders or wrap around your waist if you needed to. Dress code regulations are not often heavily enforced at resorts, but if you do know what the rule is, why break it if you can avoid it? You'll also want to consider a swimsuit cover-up for the times that you are not in the water and walking around the resort. This could be a dress, it could be a shirt, it could even be the shawl that I mentioned in the last tip. A lightweight, quick-dry cover-up is going to protect you from the sun as well as allow you to do things like hop into the lunch buffet. Even if a more formal dress code is not required, the dining areas at all meal times will often require you to wear something on top of your swimsuit. Speaking of sun protection, sunblock is going to be your best friend for any resort vacation. And the resorts know this, which is why if they are selling sunscreen, which they likely are in their gift shop, it's probably going to be two to three times the price that you would pay if you were to pack it from home instead. If you are flying with just a carry-on allowance, you will have restrictions on how much liquid, including creamy sunscreen, that you can pack. There is a very good chance that the all-inclusive is going to provide you with things like body cream, shampoo, and body wash in the room for free. What they will not provide you with is sunscreen. I like to plan for this by actually using all of my, or almost all of my, carry-on liquid allowance to pack multiple containers of sunscreen. I'll even often pack additional sunscreen in place of other things like toothpaste that are either provided by the resort or that would be inexpensive to buy. 
And then I will also pack a sunscreen stick for my face that is not going to count towards my carry-on allowance. The next all-inclusive essential to pack would be a dry pack that you can use to store things like your phone as well as other valuables so you can keep them with you throughout the day. Theft is a legitimate problem at all-inclusive resorts and it's oftentimes going to be a fellow guest that is at fault. Even someone that wouldn't normally steal can be tempted by the opportunity, such as seeing your wallet lying out on a beach chair all day with no owner in sight. I'm often traveling solo and have found the best way to keep my belongings with me, even when I go into the pool or into the ocean, is to have a dry pack that goes around my neck. I purchased a simple $10 waterproof phone case several years ago, which I have in this apartment somewhere and cannot for the life of me find it. I purposely bought one that was much larger than my model of iPhone so I could store additional valuables in it as well. I'll keep it on me while swimming and simply tuck it into my swimsuit. You can also get dry packs that are fanny pack style and are going to wrap around your waist. And speaking of valuables, you will also want to pack some small bills that you can use for tipping staff members. Tipping is expected at many all-inclusive resorts and the front desk may not be able to exchange your larger bills into $1 and $5 bills for you to use as tips. Avoid an uncomfortable situation of not being able to tip a staff member that goes above and beyond for you during your stay by bringing some smaller bills with you from home. Let us know down in the comments what your number one must-have is for an all-inclusive vacation. Have a great trip, and then I also hope that you'll subscribe to join us back here for more travel tips and hacks next week. Bye.